Zhong Li. Okay, guys, I got some sad news for you for Zhong Li. But before we get into the video, make sure you drop a like down below and smash the subscribe button by hitting the subscribe button down below. Join the subscribers on the grind to 800 because guess what? We hit 700 subscribers and I can't thank you guys enough for that. Like, I woke up and my heart melted. Somebody tweeted on Twitter. They were like, oh, congrats on 700. And I was like, oh my God, y'all, y'all, I really love y'all. And I'm so thankful that all of you are my friends and all of you are my subscribers and all of you are my whisker gang. Thank you so much. I love you guys, and let's get this grind to 800 subscribers, all right? But without further ado, let's get into this video. The sad truth about Zhong Li. Now, many of you are probably like, what's so sad about getting Zhong Li? Zhong Li is like, you know, S tier. He's blah, blah, blah. He's this. He's that. He's that. Well, there is one main problem. Well, you see, when he releases, he is a Geo type. Now, as many of you probably don't know, I can look at, let me, let me show you. All right, guys, don't judge my Ningguang's uh, level. I just got her yesterday, and I didn't, I don't have the materials to max her out. I'm still maxing my Duluk out. But anyway, guys, the sad thing about this is she's a Geo user. So let's take her, for example, as Zhong Li, right? Once you hit somebody with, say, for example, this, right, Crystallize, right? It can't, it, it can't be combined with anything because... It's, it's literally just, like, look, boom, I'm gonna go to, uh, right here, nothing, if you walk through it, like, you gain a shield, right, I mean, but, everything that has to do with crystallization, it cannot have an elemental reaction, is what I'm saying, so, as soon as you get zone Lee, like, you will be playing, right, and you try to get an elemental reaction, but there's no elemental reaction that you can get from him. So there's no point in even trying. Look at this. There's only crystallized. There's no elemental reaction. There's no combination or anything like that of the sort. Which really sucks because like that that's just like he's such a good unit. He looks really, really good. And then he can't he he, he can't do elemental reactions. And as elemental reactions are such a huge factor in this game now this doesn't necessarily mean he is a bad unit or he is bad because he's not he's actually ss tier it's just the fact that he can't do the most important thing this game has to offer basically which is the elemental uh reactions which maxes your damage and can have potential to one shot things and whatnot so let's go look at what elemental reactions can actually do and why him not having them is actually really, really sad. Okay, guys. So here are all of the elemental reactions that you can have in this game. Okay. So we have the burning, which has, and as you can see, crystallized. It can be combined with anything, but this is, it only creates a crystal that will provide a shield. That's it. No extra damage. None of that. That is why this is like, this is sad. Because I really, really wanted him to have, like, you know, some type of, some type of elemental reaction to one-shot things. Because it's, it's gonna, it's gonna weigh in on him. Even though he's a good unit, he, by himself, it's just not, eh. Let's just go over this. There's Burning, which has the Dendro and Pyro, then Crystallize, which I have shown you just now with Ningguang and with, um, Klee. Which you, after you hit another element, if you just basically, like I was hitting the water element, it dropped the crystal and I could pick it up and have a shield. That is it. That is literally it. Uh, then we have Electro Charge, which is the Electro and Water, Frozen, which is uh, Cryo and Hydro, and then Melt, which is Cryo and uh, Pyro, and Overload, which is Electro and Pyro, Superconduct, which is Cryo and Electro, and Swirl, which can be com combined with. Um, the animo in any element besides um dendro and then vaporize which is hydro and pyro now all of these as you can see do extra damage and they deal they some deal damage over time and basically it just has something to do with damage now as you can see it crystallized only creates a shield yeah if you want a shield to like you know be more defensive more protective if you're going against a strong boss and you, you don't have the strongest gear i can understand if you use that that's fine but what, what we're all looking for in this character, he's a perfect character, basically, in our eyes. Not anymore. Because he is Geo, he cannot, he cannot commit elemental reactions. 
and that is not that is not good for him but he is still good he's still a good unit guys like 100 percent this unit is good and also if you um combine him if you have two if you have two of the geo elements on your team this increases your resistance to interruption and when protected by a shield this increases your attack damage by 15 percent probably saying why is this good it's because you're constantly doing crystallized if you're uh doing geo into any of these elements or geo plus any of those elements you're constantly crystallizing over and over again meaning you're uh you're generating that shield which can give you the extra attack damage of 15 percent and depending on what gear you play on your zone lead like i said i made a gear video uh gear set video which i'm gonna have right here on the middle of the screen i hope my hands are like right on the outside of it because i want to look cool grabbing it you know what i'm saying okay anyway uh that that that's basically it depends on how you build your zone lead and yeah so for sure he would be he can be good he has to be crafted in a good team though because like i said this guy is a solo dolo he's like kirito if you've ever watched sao he's a beater he's not he, he works alone okay <laughs> he doesn't need anybody and from all of his attacks that we see he basically just like let me see his e skill is summon to geo construct like i showed the video i'm not going to show it again i'm just going to read it uh, summons a geo construct that does geo damage at spawn and then creates resonance with other geo objects and deals geo damage uh, damage over time so basically literally doesn't matter he does not need elemental reactions and he doesn't have elemental reactions he's all about himself he's something like razor except razor has elemental reactions it's just the thing with razor is you have to constantly use him to build up his elemental burst by using his elemental skill to get energy but with this guy, it's just using him because he literally can't go with anybody else on the game. He literally just cannot be played with anybody in the game. I mean, Mona probably still, yeah, he could still be played with Mona because Mona's, um, not as in elemental reactions, but as in her ultimate, which is her, uh, elemental burst, uh, basically does the illusory bubble, which does 44% extra damage, 427%, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, um, Ill illusory illusory illu i'm gonna call it illu <laughs> illu bubble um explosion damage and it just does tons of damage extra when you hit them while they're in that bubble so he will probably do more damage with that that's the only connection he probably has with other characters in this game okay his q skill which i showed on the recent video which if you haven't watched you can watch it right here i think it's the same video i believe summons a meteor and deals huge aoe geo damage and causes petrification petrified enemies will be immobilized and receive an extra 20 percent damage from physical and geo attacks so this is where he is really really good because he may not be able to do elemental reactions but that's right there is for dps he will literally if you have a dps and you use his uh, q skill and you like have say for example you have noblesse and gladiators gear or noblesse and um Noble C and Archaic Gear, right? And you do this, it's gonna do tons of damage with the ultimate. Then it's gonna, um, it's going to petrify them, right? For like five seconds, probably. And then you're gonna be able to do 20% extra damage from physical and geo attacks. Now, that brings up open doors for a lot of characters. Like, Razor's physical is really good if you put the right gear on him. So is the Luke's, but you want to focus the Luke on really Pyro since he does a lot of Pyro damage. He gets his ultimate really fast. His elemental skill re, uh, recharge is actually insane. Um, so for sure, you want to either do Razor or just build build him with a... You, you need to build Zong Lee with a physical damage uh, gear set or uh, attack damage gear set. Um, so basically... Right here, these are just his stats. Q does deals extra damage based upon 20% of Zong Li's max HP. So the more HP that you have on Zong Li, guys, the more the more damage you're going to do. <laughs> when you wow. So that's Ascension passive two, by the way. That's his passive number two. And then his passive number one is when the shield generated from the E hold skill takes damage. Character receives five percent stronger shield effect. This effect can stack up to five times. So basically, guys, you have to scale him off of HP. I seen somebody in my comment section uh, yesterday asking, uh, I heard Zongli uh, scaled off of his HP. Is that true? Well, guys, it probably is true. Right here, it says uh, on his Assistant Passive 2, uh, Q deals extra damage based upon 20% of Zongli's max HP, meaning that his ultimate could do more damage the more HP you have. So running HP stats on some of his gear sets 
would be really good like on his nobility if you want some uh hp stats it depends if you want to build him to where his ult literally nukes everything in a like six mile radius you have to build him with more hp and you have to build him probably with arcade gear as well as noble c gear if you want to just nuke literally um but for sure like i said the sad thing about it is this unit is actually ss tier if, if we when we update the tier list when he comes out this unit is ss tier i'm not going to go over all this right here but yeah it's sad because he has no elemental reactions and that's his downside that is his downfall but should you summon on this banner should you still summon on this banner knowing that he has no elemental reactions i've seen some people that said they're not st summoning on this banner since he is a good unit but he has no elemental reactions and i people want elemental reactions in this game right it's sad that geo has no elemental reactions they need to fix that probably like crystallize ain't enough <laughs> but um should you summon on this banner or should you save so in my opinion this unit's really good i feel like he's not a skip but for those players out there that that no i'm just letting you know you have a choice in this matter he does not do elemental reactions if you want to skip you can skip but if you take this with a grain of salt and you you know that this is going to happen go ahead and just keep uh, go ahead and summon if you still want to summon don't don't stop yourself from summoning on a unit that you actually want just because he has no elemental reactions because he is still s tier s s tier guys so for sure summon on him if you want to if you don't want to I understand because he, the elements reaction is his downfall even though he's still really a good unit but if you don't summon for him also kudos to you because you will be saving still saving your primal gems for Zhao because when Zhao comes out guys I'm telling you it's gonna be the end of primal gems era it primal gems are gonna be no more I'm telling you that summons gonna suck everybody dry because like Zhao is such a absolute unit like he is he is broken he is a broken unit and he can also do elemental skills, which makes him even more broken with the swirl, right? So that's like the cool thing about Zhao. He he has a um he has an elemental reaction, unlike Zhong Li. So for sure, go ahead and decide your fate right now. In my opinion, you should you should probably still summon because he's still a good unit. But if you have other plans and you really, really care about elemental reaction, then don't summon guys. Save your uh, primal gems and wait for the next banner. The next banner might be um if child isn't on Zhongli's banner, it might be child. And if if it isn't, if child is on Zhongli's banner, the next banner may be, um, it may be something else. We don't really know, but it's probably gonna be. It's not gonna be Zhao probably, because Zhao's probably releasing in 2021 February, because of the uh, China Sea the Sea event, right? So anyway, take this with a grain of salt, guys. I mean, not not that he has no elemental reactions. That's true. I'm talking about the summons and the dates and whatnot. Take that with a grain of salt. But anyway, guys, that's really about it. I just wanted to talk about how he he falters really bad with that and show the example of it. It's just sad. It's really sad. But at the same time, he's still a good unit. Whether you should summon on him or not is up to you completely. It depends on your preference in the game. Because at the end of the day, this game is literally for you're supposed to have fun on this game. So if you don't have fun with not having elemental reactions and you, you don't even like him, don't summon. If you have fun with just any character, as long as they look cool as shit and they literally just have like the coolest things, go go ahead and summon for him. He's a really good unit. He's a pole arm unit. It's he's he's sick and he looks good. I love his aesthetic. But anyway, guys, that's really about it. This is all this information. I'm not going to um, read all this, but I will post this in the description just in case some of you want to read it and you want to know about his uh, damage and whatnot. But some of this may not be accurate. You got to take it with a grain of salt because remember, the unit skills have not leaked completely yet. We've only seen a couple of things, and that's from the um, inside of Impact beta testers, right? So anyway, guys, that's about it for this video. If you like this video, if this video helped you come to a, a consensus about Zhong Li, whether you should summon on him or whether you should keep saving for either uh, Zhao or the next good banner, go ahead and smash the like button down below. Join the subscribers on the grind to 800 subscribers. I can't believe I'm saying that. I love you guys. Join the grind to 800 subscribers with the Whisker game by hitting the subscribe button down below. Guys, it will be much appreciated. And plus, if you like my content, I upload every single day, sometimes two times a day, sometimes one time a day. Maybe be one time a day today because I actually woke up really late. But anyway, guys, I will catch you guys in the next video. And I love you guys. Peace out.